I, I think you're right. The mo as you share that, thank you so much for sharing that for 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 me and also for the listeners, because um, it's so simple, right? So it's it's the company story first. It's the client story that we serve, and then it's about your story and the, the employee story. Mm -hmm. And and if you have those, obviously you don't have all the dozens and dozens that exist, but you have a pretty good start. Yeah, that's an incredible start. And I imagine those stories need to be repeated, and that's what is the basis, I guess, of culture. Would you say? Yeah, it is. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that's one of the criteria I use to pick these 10 stories is that they can be repeated and, or need to be repeated a lot and for a long period of time. Like there are some stories that you'll tell that you'll maybe only need to tell once or twice because the problem you were trying to solve got solved and you never need to tell that story again. But if you think about these stories, they're stories you, you, you'll be telling for years, if not decades, like your company founding story. Well, that should never change, right? If your company only gets founded once. So you could tell that story for decades and never change. Your vision story. Well, your vision is going to change, but only every like five or six or eight years, right? Your vision story shouldn't change every month. So you can invest time in getting that story right because you can tell it for years before it ever needs to change. So that was part of my criteria in selecting those. And specifically to your question, yes, uh, culture uh, and values in an organization are really defined by the stories people tell about other people in the company. So the people who, you know, embodied the right culture and the right values and were, were rewarded for it, and the other people who behaved in a different way and got, you know, punished or fired <laughs> for it, right? I mean, those are the stories that, that help people decide how they're going to behave because nobody reads the rule book, right? But they do listen to the, the stories that people tell about other people in the office. 